I play Mary Stuart or Mary Queen of Scots. The main conflict is that she is a Catholic queen in a Protestant country. The other conflict is that she's a queen in a male dominated um, world. Um, the other conflicts, she faces our conflicts with her head and her heart. Should she marry who she loves and wants to or should she marry for the good of the country? The key themes of this play, I would say, are jealousy, lust, revenge, passion, Paranoia, religion, can you say that's a theme? Uh, hatred, there's quite a few themes. <laughs> there's quite a few themes and, because it's also about the, the life and loves of two females. So within that life you can cover most things. Love is the main thing with Mary. Mary wants to marry for love. She doesn't want to marry uh, in some sort of political strategy. That's not how she wants to live her life, but she is a queen. Uh, however, she does decide to follow her heart and that is ultimately her downfall, is that she marries for love. Well, the co main conflict between Mary and Elizabeth, it's important to remember that the they never did meet. They had correspondence between each other. The main conflict is that Elizabeth is a Protestant and Mary is a Catholic. Mary is also in line to the throne when Elizabeth dies. So with, within that, you have a lot of people surrounding Mary and Elizabeth stirring everything up. So for Elizabeth, she is kind of encouraged to act against Mary, whereas in the, and in this play, Mary is kind of encouraged and wants to reach out to Elizabeth, but Elizabeth is threatened by Mary. Mary's not so much threatened by Elizabeth, which is slightly ironic because in the end, she's the one that chops her head off. Yeah. It's a bit of a spoiler, the, key, the turning point for my character. She makes turnings throughout the whole of the play, but the main U-turn, I would say, for Mary um, is when Rizzio gets murdered in front of her, her secretary gets murdered, her best friend in front of her, and she knows that Darnley has organised it and is there when it happens and could have stopped it. So from then, she decides that she will seek revenge for this and revenge the death of Rizzio and her actions after that lead towards that and ultimately she then decides to um, have Darnley killed and she becomes more ruthless, more like Elizabeth, more, yeah. I think having the, the Scotch, Scotch language in the play colours it immediately. Hearing those words, the muscularity of the words, um, you suddenly are transported to Scotland and it's beautiful and it's poetic and the way Liz writes is poetry and sometimes you look at things, God, I don't know how to, how to read it. So I YouTubed Liz Lockhead and, you know, just read the lines, just read it they do the work sometimes. Sometimes when I'm stuck, especially in some of the speeches, I go, if I just say the lines and I'm true to the lines, that is enough. Um, however, I've got to do it in a French accent as well, so it's slightly tricky. You've got to do this, and then you've got Brecht, and you've got to choose when to roll your eyes and when to say, all right, and you're not rolling in the eyes because you're French. You know, it's hard, it's hard. But but so important because it's sort of, it makes you feel passionate because you're moving your mouth and rolling eyes and you know. Well, I play Mary Queen of Scots and then I will go into playing uh, Marion, which is Elizabeth's uh, lady-in-waiting. And Emily Winter, who plays Elizabeth, will go into playing my lady-in-waiting, Bessie. Uh, Liz Lockhead had a theme that um, even though the Queen's never met, she wanted it, 
she wanted somehow to have them affect each other. To, it's, it's symbolic that they are beside each other, being each other's friends, because that's very much what your, your, your main lady-in-waiting was, your main um, servant. She was your friend if you were the queen. Um, so with that, we do meet in each other's worlds. And also I play Mairn, and she is uh, a girl of the street, very uh, guttural and just real and raw. And at the end as well, I play We Marie, and we're, we're suddenly in 2011, and we realize that nothing's changed. And if you're from Glasgow, which part of Glasgow are you from? You know, are you proddy uh, or are you? Well, that's what, that's what it is. But I was, you're not really asking me where I'm from in Glasgow. What you're asking me is, am I Protestant, am I Catholic? So. Yes.